Alrighty, so I just got back from the field from um, the flight of V3, which is what you see here. Uh, made a bunch of improvements to the plane. Um, first and foremost, uh, just excuse the appearance of this thing. I literally just, I, I print so much stuff. I don't have time to sand everything down and make it look pretty, but you could do that <laughs> if you want. Um, so what I did was uh, I kept the incidents the same on the airfoil, but look at that, look at the twist um, where the, the tip of the wing is, is now pointing up. Uh, I believe that that keeps it way more stable. Um, I changed it two degrees. So I twisted the wing two degrees. So the leading edge is down, just like on the real planes, they, they, um, it, that helps with the high alpha. And then the twist up at the at this back corner right here, when that twists up, that gives you. Uh, uh, what happens with these planes is you you get a lot of down attitude or, or um, uh, down elevator basically just by, from from the wing shape alone. Uh, so you have to counteract that with uh, elevator up trim, which just causes drag and and that's terrible. So I'm gonna just. I'm just going to run this type of a wing from now on. Um, it has great slow speed and great high speed stability and, uh, and lift characteristics. So, um, yeah, so enough of that. Um, basically this thing flies in my opinion, similarly to the hobby King, uh, 50 millimeter, but it, it's got so much, uh, elevator and pitch authority uh, with the full flying stabs that it, there's just no comparison between the two. And now for some reason, um, the cheater hole that I, that I added, which is very small, it's like a NACA style inlet on the bottom of the plane. I can show you, I don't know why I'm not showing you, uh, that little cheater right there provides, it's like, it's like another gear. So between the cheater and running the, the little 1300 versus the 1500 is just like, it, it's a game changer. This thing is fast. It's, it is it is way faster than the Hobby King 50 millimeter, uh, hands down. So if you're looking for speed and a burner, I mean, this is this thing is like, it's faster. It's just faster than the Hobby King. I don't know if they're just putting junk stuff in there. So um what did i do what else did i do okay so i added little um little supports for magnets ca glue i everything that i build is for ease of construction ease of use because you know you're going to be damaging parts you know you're going to have to reprint things and you could literally just just cut paste on a new one cut ca glue on a new one whatever you want to do so magnets uh amazon like nine dollars for like a whole like pound of these things um, it just literally, there's the spot. You just dig it out with an exacto. There's a spot. You just glue it there, stick it on. There you go. Um, I printed this in, in PLA just because you're always handling it and the magnets and stuff, you, you know, it might rip the, uh, the lightweight stuff apart. Um, okay. So the whole plane is very easy to print. You just print it out in 3%, uh, infill lightweight PLA where all the white, is uh so from here to here there's your cut from here to here there's your cut wing root in my designs i always like to have the wing root um connected to the to the fuselage for strength uh they, they all just meet up like this you just ca glue them together they all line up perfectly um <laughs> I, I, i'm stupid i forgot i i was playing with different size um <laughs> vertical uh fins to see which one was going to provide uh the best uh stability but because i added the bottom ones i'm going to reduce this one i forgot to reduce the scale of this so you can see this does not line up with this but um uh i mean you can let me know if you want the bigger one i could just send it to you or you could just scale it up but i'm gonna i'm gonna reduce that so that it lines up with the the back and then uh this here uh is obviously pla um, this is PLA. This is 5% infill. This is three or 2%, uh, 2%. This needs to be light because it needs to be strong, but it needs to be light because it holds the servos. And then here we're going, we're going back to my, my earlier, um,
comment about ease of ease of use for the user. So lightweight PLA. Now, this is going to be regular PLA, but it's going to be about three percent infill. I have to double check. I'll put it up. I'll, I'll post it on um, on Colts. And these are not glued in. There is no glue. They are they are in there so much. I put one dab of CA glue on um, on these servos, um, and and I could not get them out. So to, to <laughs> I'm going to suggest that you use hot glue around here and here. A little bit of hot glue. A little bit of hot glue. I literally broke um, the the, uh, the PLA here trying to seat the servo in here because I was just impatient and I wasn't being uh, patient enough. I'm going to find a way to, to loosen up the tolerances a tiny little bit, but you want them to be super tight because slop in control surfaces is the problem with a lot of these planes. So you want to have razor sharp function. And, and that is one of the reasons why this, this plane flies so good now is that you have literally two servos directly connected to the, um, the horizontal stabs. And there's no other control surface. There's just that, and the servo wires run through a tube to about here, and then you have one uh, ten or a twelve or a twelve inch extension wire up to here. So that's it. Ease of use. It's just you you pop them in, and these I'm going to change the design. I'm going to go regular PLA on these, and I'm going to reduce the angle just so it's just enough to protect this when you're landing and give a little bit of stability because it's perfectly lined up um, in this orientation. So I'm going to, I'm going to scale these down a little bit, take this hump off so that, and then print it in maybe 5% um, PLA so that they're a little bit stronger on the landings. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's all pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, real basic build. I mean, I, I think I, I honestly think that I printed this thing in three three build plates, um, and it just it was twenty four hours maybe of just printing on the bamboo, and then it was just done. So uh, yeah, I hope you like it, and uh, and let me know if you have any questions.